They're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. Thought you were gonna put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that racket's gonna bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? Let's get moving. Hurry it up, Nate. All right. Shit. What's going on? This way. Welcome what? back to Uncharted 3. Really? Come on, and, Charlie, uh, hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, oh that wasn't too bad. What the what heck? What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. Do you have claustrophobia or something? That's blocked. Alright. Wait, but yeah, I'm excited to play this game. Yeah, Especially yeah. on the channel. Or we could just use a little muscle. Oh, there's a thought. Yeah. Wall's too high. Yeah. Let's move this thing over there. I got it. Well, yeah. I hope you guys will actually enjoy this. Mate, we haven't got all bloody night. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy ass. I, I mean, I've played this game. What, two or three times probably beaten it? Looks like the coast is clear. So yeah, I'm finally excited to actually show it on the channel. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. Good evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> My ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> well, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, that's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, <sighs> easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door scary poppins out in behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Yeah. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? All right. Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. <laughs> Look, I just hope you're right about this. Yeah, we're right. But yeah. Seems pretty quiet. You think they're still in there? Well, I hope so. We're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Well, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. Well, yeah, let me know what your favorite Uncharted uh, game is down in the comments below. Um, I haven't played 4 or uh, what, Legacy. You right up there? Yeah, sorry about that. So... But, uh, you know, I still, I love the story in this one, and the, uh, gameplay. I remember playing the, uh, there's like a demo, like the multiplayer demo that you could play. You go, like, to, like, level 15 or whatever it was. It was so much fun, I play, I remember playing that, like, probably every day, almost all day, for probably at least a week, maybe two weeks.
You are making a lot of noise. Hopefully, you know, they don't see anything. I see tire tracks. But, uh, yeah. It's gonna be fun. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let's get this treasure real quick. Eh, I could drop, but I think, I think the way to go is just to go through this window right here. I'm not going to get every treasure, obviously, chat. So, don't expect me to. There's other people who do that. If I find it, I find it. I don't I, I don't remember where every single treasure is. They're usually pretty obvious, though. Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, they locked it. Anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. Are you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. All right. You were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Steep turn. Hmm, interesting. Hey, check this out. Kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, like there and there. All right, Good thing there's only tire marks on these two, or these four. I mean, and? that's not how that would work. Well, this has got to be it. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. That's pretty cool, by the way. Well, I have a goddamn cadaver. Just like Batman. Um, Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Apparently Batman. Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. <laughs> All right. Like board straight into the old service tunnels. Hmm. Okay. Hey, over here. It's locked. It's locked. Not for long. You can shoot it, can't you? Yeah. Man, it's been a bit since we played Uncharted, so. It's been, uh, what, a month or two? Uh, probably two months. Yeah, it obviously depends on when I want to do it. I'll probably put this like a month, like two months after probably, because I like the Yakuza, I usually do it a month, then skip a month, and then do it again, so. Yeah, yeah. Who is McDuff actually? I see them. 
You gonna stay in there? Oh yeah, nice one, mate. Thanks. Uh, how do you reload? Okay, R one. Okay. Treasure, nice. Alright, let's go up. Oh yeah, I'm recording some PS5. I don't know if there's much of a difference or not. There's a rat. But we will obviously see. That is a long way down. You're telling me. I would never do that. Careful. That's not what I wanted. Nate. All right. Oh, that is a long way down. Careful, it's slippery. Slippery and wet. I'm pretty sure they can see your head. Ready when you, are. you just got. Nice job. Well, he's not having kids if he's uh, if he's not dead. Hi. There's a passage out there. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, looks like it's jammed though. Don't worry, I'll climb. Look out! Here it comes. No problem. Alrighty. I don't know how long this game's gonna be. It's like there's some sort of gate up there. Um. There's a treasure right here. Um, because the last time I played Uncharted was right after Mass Effect. Uh, so. Uh, I guess we go down, don't we? Uh, hold on. Huh. All right, ready? ready. Pull. Pull. Got it. So, I mean, okay, I feel like, uh, you know, so Ma I mean, I think Mass Effect 2 is probably the longest game in that trilogy, so. Yeah. I think it's probably gonna, you know, be eight hours or something like that. So it's probably gonna be like seven, eight videos or whatever, like usual. Uh, guess we go this way. Down here. Are we headed now? You're telling me? Going to the back cave? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. Whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Yeah. The iron work. He's got to be Victorian, maybe older. This stuff has been rusting for a century. Great. All right, where do I go? Maybe we can get through here. No, I don't think so. No way we're moving. I think so. Wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. All right, who's first? One of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> of course. Oh, crap. Uh. 
But yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the last video, obviously. I'm almost there. And uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm definitely excited to replay it. You know, probably for the third or fourth time. I have no idea. Wait, so how did it get stuck? Didn't they use the elevator to get down or whatever? But, uh, I don't, I'm trying to remember what my favorite mission was, um... I'll probably know it when I see it, because I don't remember every single mission in this. No problem. That's what I'm here for. This is a really cool mission, though. I actually really like it. Hey, there's Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Great. <laughs> you want to go say the same for the uh, for their men, Marlo's men, I guess. I do feel like with the Yakuza being gone, though, I feel like it definitely has let other series shine, you know? I'm not saying that Yakuza is bad or anything, but I'm just saying. You know. Don't move. Hey, hey, you got us all wrong, man. We're from Cleveland. I don't know if you want to pick Ohio, to be honest. Yeah, no problem. Alright. The hell kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. Uh, where were we supposed to go? Um. Not that way. There's a hole in the wall. All right. Shh, get back. Take them out quietly. I'm sure they heard you. Nicely done, boys. Come on. They must have gone through here. No, me master stealth. Not really. Definitely not really. Oh, this Speaking of stealth, um, like Tudor, 16th century. I do want to do more stealth games on the channel. Uh, like I, I need to do Thief at some point, chat. Up this way. Um, the one, I think it was like the reboot or whatever on PS4, PS3, you know that those consoles. Hey, over here. But uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Seriously, who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. 
Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. Alright. Not too bad. Are we clear? This is quite the operation they got going. Uh where was it at? Here? Here it is. Look at all this stuff. What the heck is that? Nate, the... focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. It belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They... Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L O H D N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. Sh no shit long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Would you shut up? It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. All right, time to look for a golden ship. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. What makes you think it's even here? That? It's gotta be here. Well, could be a Buckland Abbey for all we know. What? Buckland Abbey, it's a place you've never been there, move on. Whatever okay, so we get there. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... No. No, it's gotta be here. Pretty sure it's the deer, isn't it? If I remember correctly. There it is. Oh shit, it's a trap. They're here, take cover. Their 
The one thing I I don't know if it's I think it was in Chart 2 as well. But it's the subtitles can be very delayed. I think I'm trying to do. Just keep moving forward. We'll find a way out. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Hey, man. You okay, dude? <laughs> what the heck? I've never done that before, so that's the first time I've ever seen that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's just way better. Um, like the like the, how smooth the gunplay is and stuff. Thank you. I just feel like it's so much more smoother than two and one ever was. I say that as I miss six shots in a row or whatever. Hey, there's a ladder. Come on, hurry up. Oh, there it is. All right, let's go. I know we'd be here. The reticle's also very nice. Owie, owie. Yo, you guys didn't have my back. What are you doing? That was close. Goodbye. Chloe, can you read me? We're coming out the old wolf out of the station. There's no time to explain. The Chloe pick up? Go time. Oh. 
Please die, thank you. Up here, hurry. Come on. Almost out of ammo. Give me that, thank you. Okay, not that way, huh? Well, luck. Back up, back up. Or don't. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. What the heck? says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D? John D, one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... A great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel Kali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubelkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we gonna get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Wow. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs>